girl Slay Paris here and I'm doing my very first um favorites haul so we're doing April's favorites and I'm actually excited about this because watching people's favorites hauls like for the month is my favorite thing to watch on YouTube honestly I probably don't watch anything else on YouTube except for favorites so I'm excited that I'm gonna be doing this on my beauty channel I can't breathe hold on is that how excited I am? I'm excited to not only do this on my beauty channel, but also my main channel. I'm more excited on, about doing it on my main channel though, just because there are some bomb stuff out there that you guys don't even know I use, but y'all need to y'all need to get with the program. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to do Hey Paris's um, favorites video as well, but that's gonna be later on in the month. But for now, we are gonna be focusing on beauty products here on Slay Paris. Let's just get straight into it. This is not in any particular order. I'm just gonna pick up and talk and that's it. So the first thing that is on my favorites list is something that I got recently, which is the Valentino Valentina perfume. So this is the limited edition one from last year, I believe. This is the limited edition one from this year. And this one is the original and they all have different scents and different personalities but i love all three of them so i picked all three of them up let me explain to you what all of them smell like it's a perfume by the way if you didn't know this one smells like if i was to give this this a name like a girl's name her name would be crystal it's beautiful, it's sexy, it's cute, it's flirty, it's floral, yet sweet, it's the perfect, most beautiful um, summertime scent ever. It has like a hint of cherry blossom in there as well. I can smell that. It's, it's, it's delectable, it's delectable. Probably gonna be one of my go-tos this summer. Smells amazing, it smells the way it looks. Just bright pink, beautiful, and cute. That's what it looks like. So adorable, I love the packaging so much. The next one is this one, I don't even know what they're called. This one is called, um, just Valentina Pink. This one is called Valentina Blush, and it just looks like this. Same packaging, just a different color. Very, very cute, very, very like, modern day queen perfume. It looks so cute on, like in my, um, my perfume case, it looks so cute, love it. I'm a sucker for packaging, so definitely the packaging caught me more than anything. But this one smells like, mm, if I was to name her, her name would be Lily. Like a very innocent, pretty, just very innocent, pretty girl. Like a very innocent scent. This is like one of those scents you wear on a first date. And let me give you a little perfume tip. When you're going on your first date with a guy and you think you're gonna hold hands with him and you want your scent to stick onto him all day, do this. Put a, oh, I missed my hand. But put a little bit on your hand, rub it together. And now when you hold his hand and you leave him and he goes his separate ways and you go your separate ways, y'all both at home, he gonna smell you on his hand. He gonna be thinking about you the whole night, girl. The whole night! Who taught you? Paris taught you. Oh good. Um, so yeah, this is very innocent, very pretty, very like hmm, kind of scent. It's really cute. I love it. And then this one now, it's a very it's not a scent for everyone. It's a very grown-up scent. I would call this Miriam. And that's because it's more like an older, grown, sexy woman who has like her career together. That's how I describe all my perfumes. I have to describe it as a person, okay? And this one is called Pondre. Poudre, P-O-U-D-R-E, I think it's French, I don't know. But it looks like this. So cute, such a cute little nude color. And it's just very grown up, it's kind of like a powdery scent with a little bit of floral, a little bit of rose in there. It's a really, really pretty scent. I feel like I'd wear this if I was going to like a party where I'm wearing a gown, like a long gown and you don't want to smell too cutesy flirty, you want to smell like a grown woman. This it is. And since we're already on the topic of fragrances, this is the Brazilian Crush Spray Corporal Perfume. Oh, that's not English. This is the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist, okay? And this is from Sephora, and it actually goes with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream that they have. 
I use the Bum Bum Cream. Cameron loves the scent, which is why I picked this up. And I actually don't spray this on my body. I spray it in my room, around my house, and in my hair. I don't spray it in my body. But it's a beautiful scent. It smells like, it smells like a party. What's a party girl name? A party girl's name is like Trisha. Trisha. This smells like Trisha. It's a very um, calm coconut, like in the sun, spray tan, like beautiful scent. It's really nice and it really is really, really nice in your hair. It smells really, really good in your hair. I love it. Um, it's a little bit of money, but I thought it was going to be a really, really small bottle. So I was surprised when it was this big hefty bottle here so I have absolutely no complaints love it for a room spray I love it for my hair I love it for um, my house I, I just love it I, I usually use um Victoria's Secret body sprays for my house and my hair not really my hair mo mostly my house but I think I've switched to this now it's like my signature home scent I love it the next thing is my Marc Jacobs perfecting coconut setting mist it looks like this and you might be like you didn't even use that much no I used a lot of this I use this absolutely every day you guys it is my favorite at the moment it literally like every time I spray it on my face I just get happy it's the most beautiful coconut scented setting spray I don't know if it holds your makeup or not I don't really see a difference with it holding my makeup or whatever but it smells good and it makes me look dewy which I absolutely love because I have dry skin but as you can see sprayed a little on me now I look dewy I might call that oily but I love it and it just I don't know if it's the scent but the scent whenever I spray it I just feel happy and I'll definitely definitely be repurchasing this you guys don't even understand this is one of my holy grails last month April oh so good love it and you can pick this up at Sephora as well I got this at Sephora and on the topic of Marc Jacobs it is their new highlighter and I actually did an individual review on this but I've been loving it on my skin let me just show you really quickly like on the back of my hand how this stuff makes your skin absolutely glow so there's a little bit right there okay it makes your skin literally look at the difference look at the difference it makes your skin literally glow glow you're glowing and it smells delectable I love it and I cannot wait for summer to wear it I've been wearing it even before summer just because I love the glow that it gives me but summertime y'all better be wearing your sunglasses because I'm gonna be glowing all up in your face and on the topic of glow my new absolute favorite highlighter which I'm wearing right now you see how I'm glowing y'all you, you see that I can't even put any more of this on because I will be I will be transparent, but it's this Orpha, this Orpha highlighter, and it's in um, Rodeo Drive. I got this in my Boxy Charm. I'm gonna leave a link to my Boxy Charm down below in case you guys want to pick up a Boxy Charm for yourself. It's a subscription box that sends you makeup every single month. It's the bomb. I love Boxy Charm, but I also got this in Boxy Charm as well. This highlighting fan brush. But look at this. Just a little bit. We're just going to take a little bit. I'm going to show you how you're going to be gleaming if you pick this up. Look at this. Bitch. Bitch. Look at that. No way, Jose. You guys don't even understand. I need you guys to see the full effect. I'm going to do a swatch. I have to do a swatch. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Do you? I love it. I love it. My absolute favorite highlighter at the moment. And I never usually glow like this, but that's what it gives me. It gives me this glow that is just unmatched. Orpha, you killing them. The next product I have, I actually did, I'm actually going to do, I don't know if I'm going to upload this before or after, but I'm actually going to do a um, review on this and the Unicorn Essence. It's the Farsali, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, gold, rose gold elixir, and I actually rave and tell you all about it in the video that I will be uploading or is already uploaded. It is an amazing beauty oil, you guys don't even understand, it is beautiful, we wake up with plump, beautiful, moisturized, radiant skin, it has 24 karat gold flakes inside, I don't know if that helps or anything or if it's just for design or whatever, but 
this stuff is the absolute bomb and i'll be talking about it more in my review for it so look out for that or if it's already up go check it out i love it i love this stuff nobody understands it is amazing unicorn essence on the other hand yeah. And since we're talking about skincare, I'm moving on to the Sunday Riley Good Jeans and their Luna Sleeping Oil. I got these together from Sephora. And it has been doing absolute wonders for my skin. Um, the oil itself, the night oil, I think that's what's really, really helping me but it's moisturizing, it's supposed to get rid of dark spots. It was a lot of money, I think it was like a hundred something dollars, but it, it was definitely worth it or else I would not be talking about it. And I love this stuff, I have absolutely no complaints. You put the oil on first, you put the cream on after, this exfoliates your skin. If you have sensitive skin, you're supposed to use it as a mask. I don't use it as a mask because I don't have sensitive skin, but I've been using it only for like two weeks now or even less than two weeks now, and I've been seeing a huge change. And one of them, I don't remember which one, says that you'll see results in three minutes, and you actually do. So I have absolutely no complaints. I've never tried Sunday Riley before, but it is now one of my favorite skincare brands ever. So shout outs to you, Sunday. Hey. And now a lot of y'all be like, Paris, how you get your lips so nice and soft? And like, you can wear like liquid matte lipsticks and they don't look cracky and stuff. This is my secret. I don't think I, would, I was ever going to tell you guys what my secret was because my lips, yo, let me tell you. So this is Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. I actually got this from shopkorea.com. I'll try to find, how come it's not focusing? Okay, I'll try to find the link for you guys, but it comes with this lip brush that looks like this. And you put it on before you go to bed, just like you would do like bliss text or something. But you wake up and all the dead skin on your lips are gone. You just wipe it off with a little piece of napkin or something like that. Your lips is, look at my lips. No comp, look, mm -hmm. No complaints, girl, no complaints. Love it, my favorite lip mask definitely will be purchased, even though I feel like this will not be done in a really, really long time. It looks like this inside, and it has, it's not sticky, it's not um, drying, it's just straight moisturizing. It's almost like an oil cream, it's amazing, I love it. Definitely recommend if you have dry um, lips or you want really nice, moisturized, plump lips. Pick this up real quick, and it's not expensive. I feel like this was like nine dollars on shopkorea.com. I'll I'll find it. I'll leave it in the description box down below for you guys. And since we're on skincare, kind of lips to skincare, I guess. Um, I got this as well. This is a beauty tool that you actually use over sheet masks. So if you have a jelly mask or a sheet mask or anything, you just turn this on. Hear that? You turn it on. It looks like this. And you can put it in the fridge. I put it in the fridge without the battery in it for a little bit, not for a long time, for like maybe five minutes. And then you just rub it on your skin and that just helps for the mask to absorb in your skin faster and more efficiently. And I just love it. I forgot where I got this from. I don't remember where, I think it was a sponsorship that I just never did. So I'm sorry, whoever sent this to me. Um, it's popping though, I like it. I just don't remember where I got it from. I don't even know what it's called either, but it's amazing and I love it. And then the last product we're going to be talking about today is the YSL Touche Clot um, Blur Primer. So a lot of you guys probably been seeing this around. It's just the new, y well it's not new, I've they've been had this. It's the YSL um, Face Primer and I'm just going to squirt a little on my hand so you guys can see. The only problem I ever had with it was the pump because this is one pump and you have to pump it like how many times to get the amount that you want. But it has 24 karat gold flakes in there and it just absorbs into your skin like this. It kind of feels like the Smashbox primer except for I feel like this is just a bit more luxurious. I like the way it feels more than the Smashbox and it really does help to blur out any imperfections you have. It smells good, not overly scented, and it does the job correctly. Um, it's a bit of money, but if you have the money to purchase it, definitely pick it up. I love it a lot. If you don't, I would say the Smashbox Primer is very similar. I think they're the same price, but the Smashbox Primer, you could get it in a smaller packaging for like $15, I believe, on Beauty on the Fly in Sephora. 
So there you go. And there you have it. Those are my beauty favorite products of April. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite product for April is that has to do with beauty. I'm so excited to do Hey Paris's um, April favorites. Just waiting for a few things to come in because I had to reorder them. But once that happens, we're going to upload that on my main channel, Hey Paris. If you didn't know I have a main channel, I do. YouTube.com slash Hey Paris. I do comedy and shit like that, okay? Um, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All of that's going to be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. But I'm not a beauty guru.